Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So today, pans are done. I wanted to actually check and see how they are with the new spawn rate. I actually, I will say my preliminary thoughts were, I liked this event. I need speeds. I think everybody needs speeds. It's a good break. Uh, I wish you could see pans easier on the map. When I'm scanning, man, I get them confused a lot with like these guys or uh is it the green these ones if these are kind of close together and they do tend to clump up sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult to see but in terms of how the event actually gave rewards the increased spawn rate the increased rewards let's check it out so we got i'll see if we can see it in the event section but basically about seventeen thousand both days yeah so they removed pan uh i think we did better we do better on uh pans than yemers or more consistent it's easier because they have pvp troops and by that i mean you have to attack with ground or archers and there really isn't competition for that on our map other people can do it sure the level fours and fives but it hurts them so I think they stick to the lower ones or they just kind of log off and save. They're, maybe they're at a different uh, building point, point in their game, and they're still building and prefer resources and don't need speeds. So that's their bottleneck. So maybe they are saving stamina for Yemers. Anyways, good for us. Good for everybody in the Alliance. And uh, let's take a look. I took a picture of my... Uh, resources before or my speeds because that's really what we're going to be checking here we'll look at the speeds as well but uh, basically it's resources so let's look so uh, here's my speed situation right now and normally after Yemers everything would add like 10,000 so I'd get like 10,000 more uh, 10,000 this would go up by 10,000 so I'd end up in like the 25,000 area so we're gonna open these. This would end up probably about like 3,000. So we're gonna open it up and compare, but we're also gonna look at the resources. So um, here's my pan boxes and chests. And I normally would get about 3 billion resources from all of this. So let's uh, open it up. So in order to do this properly, I'm gonna have to drain all of these boxes. So I can actually count. I don't have to count and I could just open. So right there, I find you get about two thirds. So when you open these, if you have 1000, you'll get about 700. So that's kind of how I did my math estimating what we would get. So anyways, let's see. So where are these guys? So let's start with the lowest one. Open that up, just open them all up. Let's just look at this for a brief snapshot. So looking very good on the speed uh, situation there. And this should end up being about 350 million each, I would guess. And there, tw that's pretty good on the three, th three hours because normally it would be the one hours that are gaining. And right here, very nice on the speeds really liking that resources that's probably about 500 million but we'll open it all up and see what we actually get that would be a large sample size very nice so let's look at the speeds first and i'll just take a picture so i took one picture here and then i took another one that showed i cared about the healing speeds as well so let's go into this so this is the first one so i have fourteen thousand of the one hours i clicked it as if it would pop up and show me that those are one hours seven thousand of the three hours and 600 of the purples and where are we here we are on the speeds and i had 7350 of the three hours and fourteen thousand of the one hours let's see what we end up with thirty five thousand and sixteen thousand very nice and then 656 of the 12 hours I only had 68, so that's uh, 300 and something days. Really liking that. Construction, I had 2,500 of the one hours, and I end up with 3,600 and then a whopping 10,000 of the three. Wow, that is very good. Really liking that. Divide that by eight. 
to get your 24 to how many days? So I got about 1,500 days there, uh, if, if my math is correct there. I think that's about right. And let's look at this one. So my training speeds, this is one I was really looking forward to. So 1,700 and 30 of the three hours. So we now have 2,800 and 8,100. I was hoping for more there. I really thought I would get uh, over 10,000. So that is, uh, I'm not happy with that. That uh, seems really low. Huh, okay. And the healing speeds, 20,000 and 20,000 on the new. And before that, I had 19,000 and 12,000. Okay, so I think the big thing is we got a lot of common speeds and then a lot of three hours. So I do think it was a successful, uh, very successful speed up event. Um, have to see it when I get into training day and see how far they last for me. All those three hours versus the one hours. But you could pretty much look at it and say, so those three hours, right? I have 8,100 of them. Multiply by three to get them into the one hours. And that would basically give me 25,000. So if I'm adding 10,000, I'm getting double. So I think we could say we're getting about double the speeds than Yemers. Probably a little bit more. Maybe a little less because uh, spawn rate, etc. But overall, probably around double for everybody. Now the big test for everybody else. This is what most people are going to care about. So I have zero of these and i normally get somewhere around 2.5 to 3 billion of each let's see how we do so i'm gonna guess this is gonna end up around 700 for each so 700 million because two-thirds is usually what i get okay so look kinda so about 650 million of each and let's see what we got here and 6,000, I think we're gonna break out the calculator on these. So the calculator says that is about 300 million. So we got uh, 300 and 650, so about 1 billion. So about 40% of the resources I normally get and double the speeds. Eh, so, not sure if that's, you know, that I think that's worth it for a main account. Uh, alts, I think that's going to be an evaluation standpoint for a lot of people. Was it worth all that stamina for 1 billion resources over the weekend? And that's if you're in uh, an alliance that is getting 15,000 plus Yemer or uh, PAN scores. If you're not, it's not, just the, it's not just the stamina. It's the effort put into finding monsters that is also annoying. So any and uh, computer power for some people, right? But uh, anyways, thought I'd uh, do a final evaluation on pans. Let me know how you guys did. And uh, do you think it's worth it or not? I personally, I do like it. I do need the speeds badly. So anyways, Genghis, like, subscribe, leave a comment.